Close. Have you decided what you're looking for yet? Of course not. Then how are you so sure of yourself? That's just my style. If I decided in advance exactly how I was going to cook something, there'd be no element of surprise to the dish. In the same way, if I knew what I was looking for before I found it, it wouldn't be a surprise. But that's so risky. Relax. This is how I came up with all the signature dishes at Wanmi. I'll let you know when I find something I like.
heads. Look how fresh they are. Or steak with lotus seeds? Hmm, this could work. Okay, let's gather them. <laughs> this should be enough. Come to Leeway. Let's keep looking and see what else we can find. but those little fellas pack quite a punch. From what I've observed, spicy food is a rarity in Monsat, <laughs> so this will be perfect. Go and pick some. Get a good handful. Something. It's missing a little boom shakalaka. Yeah, now that you mention it, it is a little boom shakalaka lacking. <laughs> Brooke may be a stickler for convention, but she is a talented chef nonetheless. There's no doubt she will source the fanciest quality ingredients. To win this will take a truly mind blowing dish. Something like. Sea serpent salad, stir fried kings in flour, or wild mushrooms in a rich slime jus. Ah, uh, a slime jus? <laughs> I know how weird it sounds, but I guarantee you it tastes incredible. I'll make some for you next time. <laughs> you won't be disappointed when you taste it, although it looks a teensy bit gross. Never mind that. I just remembered there's somewhere I never checked out last time. My gut tells me that's where we'll hit the jackpot. Let's take a look.
told you I'd win. while you make him a nice warm bowl of soup. We passed a hillitrol camp on the way here. There'll almost certainly be a campfire there to cook on. Great, be as quick as you can. Mm. Oh, that is better. Thank you. That soup really did the trick. Yes. I was chasing a boar. And after chasing him all this way, he slipped into those underground ruins over there. I followed him inside, but ran into a cryo regis vine. It froze me instantly. When I woke up, I ran straight outside, but... I only made it this far before my strength failed me. How big was it exactly? Four from others, but this was the first time seeing one with my own eyes. Yikes! We should definitely keep our distance from the ruins. It sounds dangerous. It sounds delicious! That's it! The missing ingredient! The icing on the cake! Calm down. Can we really eat a tree that's that aggressive? Only one way to find out. Let's go! <sighs> Off she goes again. Do not worry about me. I'll be fine. But you must stop her. She is putting herself in grave danger. Slow down! It's dangerous in here! Ingredients don't stay fresh for long. Yeah, right!
before they expire. Yeesh. She's quite the fighter. Seems foraging for ingredients takes more than just luck.
to get hit. It will definitely hurt. bring more joy than finding rare ingredients. Wait, there's something else here too. This must be the boar that Hunter was chasing. But Paimon's never seen one with this pattern before. Where have I seen this before? 
Aha! It was in the Historia Naturalis of Liyue. This pattern is unmistakable. It belongs to a breed of boar that went extinct 300 years ago. Wow! How is this one still alive after so long? Could be. I read that this boar was hunted to extinction because its meat was so highly prized. Condensate of jumbo cryo slime and extinct boar? Not one, but two priceless treasures! Right! Now let's get back to Springvale! Are you sure this is Springvale? Uh, yes, for the millionth time, yes. But I don't know any of the people you're looking for. That is not possible. They all live in Springvale. They are my neighbors and friends. This is strange. What is going on? What is it? What? Can humans really live that long? Uh, does that really make sense? <laughs> it all makes sense now that you're speaking my language. Still, it's hard to believe. But it doesn't seem like there's any other sensible explanation. Okay, so 
What's your... Olaf. Olaf? Oh, I'm sure I've seen that on my family tree. I can't remember which generation it was from, but it was definitely on there. So, a great, 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 great grandfather, but with a whole lot more greats? What an unusual turn of events. <laughs> Reunited at long last. Isn't that just amazing? Uh, Olaf, do you want to come and watch a cooking competition? Ah, yes, that reminds me. Brooke told me about the competition, and I've set everything up at the venue. You should come with me. ready. Oh, and Sigfria will be my assistant for the competition. Then let the cooking commence. I will be your judge today. And don't worry, I may have known Brooke for longer, but I will remain entirely impartial. Much appreciated. Well then, Traveler, Paimon, prepare! Wait, we're taking part in this too? Of course! If Brooke has an assistant, you guys will have to be mine. I'll need you by my side when the going gets tough. Ah, <sighs> Paimon doesn't remember applying for that job. Okay, Paimon will do it for the sake of the food. Our first problem is ingredients. We need something special to dress up the steak, but I don't have anything suitable here. I've got it! Radish is what we need. Mashed or grated, it'll add a touch of freshness. And we can carve little flowers out of it as a garnish. Two birds, one stone. Go find me a radish. There should be some in the area. Oh, and make sure you wash it because it's going straight into the dish. Let's wash the radish in the river. <laughs> Go fetch me some radishes. Oh, and don't forget to wash them in the lake. How about... 
charcoal now. Oh, I'm gonna have to start from scratch. Also, I'm thinking our mane is a little weak. We need to mix it up a bit. Make me a mushroom chicken skewer. And make sure it's got that ooh da da on the outside. Then hits you with the just make it taste friggin' awesome. track, but we're aiming for perfection here, and I just think it lacks a certain... Boom Shakalaka! Yes! Definitely needs some Boom Shakalaka! Or perhaps a little Shakalaka Boom Pow! I just mean it would be a waste of such amazing ingredients to just serve this as is. Let me see... Hmm... What would be ideal is some kind of regional specialty. Regional specialty? Yes. Something that's native to this area but isn't often used in cooking. I don't care if it flies, crawls, or bounces. Even insects I can work with. Uh, interesting choice. Hmm, I'm sure I can make something of it. All right, then. you got. again if I need anything else. <laughs> it looks like Xiang Ling's main dish is almost done. Let's go and see. I almost forgot. Side dish. We need a side dish. Are you sure it's no trouble? Here, take this. I just scrolled it down at the last minute. And here are all the ingredients you need. Is this the recipe for that snack you gave us earlier? Yes, with some minor improvements so it uses up the leftover ingredients from Liwe. This is so complicated. How are we supposed to cook this with no experience? The technique doesn't matter. What matters is that you do it with passion. That's what my father taught me. And you must be passionate about cooking if you've helped me this much already. I trust you guys. I know you'll nail this side dish. Come and this is the final push. Thank <laughs> you. 
mission is ours! <sighs> this was a fine feast. I have dined today like I have never dined before. Both chefs' dishes today were nothing short of exceptional. They were true masterpieces. And that is what makes this an extremely difficult decision. But this is a competition, and there can only be one winner. And that winner is Shang Ling. Whoopee! I win! <sighs> I thought I was sure to win with pork chops so fresh they were practically still grunting. But it turns out that's still no match for the taste of extinct boar. Excuse me? Did you say this was cooked from extinct boar? Yep. Every last bit. My goodness. A single mouthful must be worth a hundred thousand mora. The amount you'd make if you sold this could support every hunter in town for years to come. <laughs> the main thing is that you enjoyed eating it. I don't care about the mora. Anyway, now our judge has given his verdict, it's time for everyone else to eat too. I made plenty! Meanwhile, I want to try Brooke's dish. Mmm, <gasps> this is absolutely delicious. I'll admit it, I was beaten by the best. Losing is no fun, but it was worth it for the chance to eat such superb cooking. Please, Shanling, I want some more. This is gorgeous, too! Such... Were it not for that exquisite boar and excellent side dish, it's hard to say if I still would have won. Paimon's turn to eat! Hmm. I will have a taste, too. Oh. My, oh my, this is... This is the taste of Springvale. Or rather, it used to be. This is the last time I will be able to taste the food of my era. Hey now, cheer up. If you like the taste, I can always make you some more. <laughs> really? But the boar, it's extinct. The boar may be, but the taste isn't. I can simply recreate it using different ingredients. Putting a smile on customers' faces is what we chefs are called to do. Thank you. <laughs> a good time was had by all. But everyone's gone now. Let's go and say goodbye to Zhang Ling. Without your help, I don't know how it would have gone today. And without you, Paimon wouldn't have gotten to try so many new tasty snacks. Also wouldn't have gotten so full. Not sure. I'll probably start heading back to Liyue, but I might change my plan on the way. I don't like to plan things too thoroughly. Who knows? Maybe you'll bump into me out in the wild again. Xiang Ling's gone from Boom Shakalaka to Hakuna Matata. You are a gifted chef. You made an amazing batch of jade parcels. Come and visit me at the Wanmin restaurant sometime. I did promise I'd cook for you. And if you want, I'll teach you how to cook some of my latest inventions, too. It's a deal. <laughs> See you again soon. Thank <laughs> you. 